Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So guys be quick and join the session fast. Quick, quick. I guess I'm audible, visible. Okay. Fine guys, so we'll start with the session quickly. Uh, but before that, let me provide you with few information in a minute or two. Firstly, if you don't know about me, you can go through my profile. Next, when my classes are there for all those things, you can join my telegram group for knowing the updates. And uh, guys, as you all know, ESC 2023 main result has been out. So if you have cleared it, kindly share your results with us and you will get free inter mock interview with our expert panel. Okay, and uh, guys, you can download our Baiju's exam prep app because here also all the faculties takes classes of technical, conceptual, practice, and generic sessions. So there is a bit.ly link on my description box. You can join it from here. Okay, uh, and guys, there's a workshop on uh, coming Wednesday at 7:30 p.m. What should be your strategy to crack gate 2024? This workshop is free of cost. You guys can attend it simultaneously. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, Swara. Good morning. Good morning. Naidu ji. Okay. Uh, and on this coming Sunday, there is a scholarship test. Uh, flexibility of timing is there. You can give the test anytime between 9 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. in the evening. Okay. So now we'll start the session. Uh, today I have kept. 45 questions uh, basically today I focused more on ISRO, HPCL and ESE because I found that many questions, simple questions are there database questions because uh, I solved 3 years ISRO questions with you guys JE ke liye bilkul kar sakte ho you can do it for JE also good morning Nema Okay, so uh, because certain questions of JE level has also been asked in ISRO, AE level has also been asked in ISRO as well as in HPCL. Okay, because I solved a 2021 question paper of HPCL also with you guys. So that's why keeping that in mind, I have kept the questions here. Okay, uh, so there are 45 questions and what is the time? 11 2. So let's take a target that maximum uh, 11 45 we should complete it. Okay, so the first question. This is a patent question asked in many examinations. Either they ask you the standard height of the standard rain gauge or they ask you the diameter of the standard rain gauge. So what is this guys? Good morning uh, Sneha Sheesh. What is the diameter? This is a patent question guys. Either they ask you height or they ask you the diameter. It is technically it is 30.5 centimeter. Technically, if you ask the height, it is 30.5 centimeter. But in the question, uh, nothing was mentioned regarding 30.5. We'll write 30. But in the examination, if it, uh, option is 30 and 30.5, then you will mark it as 30. Talking about the diameter, diameter is also remember it because this time they uh, uh, can also mention you the diameter. That is 12.7 centimeter. Standard non-recording, uh, basically when you talk, initially you were talking about Simon's rain gauges. But standard recording rain gauge in India, remember this question has also been asked, so I am discussing all questions related to it. Standard recording rain gauges in India, which is the recording rain gauge which we use? Standard recording rain gauge in India. Which is the standard recording rain gauge in India? That is float type rain gauge or you call it as natural siphon type. Okay, so when it's talking, no, no, Simon's is for non-recording rain gauge. But if in the question, if you talk about standard recording rain gauge, that is natural siphon. Okay, answer the next question. If the intensity of rainfall is more than the infiltration capacity, then what will be the infiltration rate? Of course, it will be equal to infiltration capacity because infiltration capacity is the maximum rate at which water can enter into the soil. So, the maximum rate will be the actual rate if intensity of rainfall is more than the infiltration capacity. Common sense ki baat hai bhai, agar uski ek maximum rate agar barish usse zada hogi to wo runoff produce ho jayega. So, the rest will become runoff. But the maximum is infiltration capacity se zada infiltration rate ho hi nahi sir. ठीक है उससे कम हो सकता है बट इन्फिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी से ज्यादा इन्फिल्ट्रेशन रेट नहीं हो सकता ओके नो सो इक्वल टू इन्फिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट मेथड टू डिटरमाइन एवरेज रेनवल रेनफॉल डेप्थ ओवर एन एरिया 
I'll ask one more question in this. Average rainfall depth over an area. Isohydal method. Now one more question. Which In which of the following method, rain gauge located outside the catchment area is also considered? I am repeating the questions again. In which of the following method, rain gauge located outside the catchment area is also considered? Tell me the name. Now I am asking you a second question which is not mentioned here. In which of the following method, rain gauge located outside the catchment? Very good Shubham. In Thiessen's polygon method. Correct, correct Snehashis. In only in Sneha, uh, in Seasons Polygon method, any rain gauges which is located outside the catchment area is also considered. Okay. Now, a hytograph is a plot of a hytograph is a plot of hytograph. Remember, discharge versus time is hydrograph. Cumulative versus rainfall versus time is mass curve. Hydrograph is rainfall intensity versus time. Now, in India, whenever you talk about non-recording rain gauges, you measure every day at what time? In Indian standard time, you measure it at what time? 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I guess I have told you this or not. Uh, let us suppose what is the date today? What is the date? Let me check it out. Today is 8 September. Okay. Uh, one more thing like on 7 September, if the rainfall happened uh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., let us suppose the rainfall happened was 2 centimeter. Uh, then in the morning it happened, uh, uh, then evening it happened 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. it happened 1 centimeter. Then next day 8 September, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. the rainfall happened. Mm, 3 centimeter. So, when anybody will go on 8 September at 8.30 p.m. 8, at 8.30 a.m. to collect the rainfall, he will get how much? He will get 6 centimeter of rainfall. So, whether you will call it as 7 centimeter on 7, uh, on 7 September that rainfall happened or on 8 September that rainfall happened. The rainfall data which you collected, you will designate it for September 7 or September 8. Tell me. The 6 cm of rainfall, you check the bottle, it was showing you at 8.30 am, the depth is 6 cm. So, it is the rainfall date of 7 September or it is the rainfall date of 8 September? Come on guys, basic question. Come on, I want the answer. Logical. Don't you think they can't give you questions like this? No, no, no. Wrong. 8 September. This, because you are collecting it today now. So, how can you talk about the previous one? 8 September. And after 8.30 am, any rainfall which will be happening, it will be counted on 9 September. It will be 8 September. 8 September rainfall. And any rainfall happening after 8.30 am, <coughs> excuse me, will be counted on 9 September. Okay? Now, come on guys. You have to calculate W index. In this, rarely it happens. Uh, right now, generally, uh, they give you rainfall runoff and you need to calculate phi index. But here, rainfall is given to you, phi index is given to you and it is asking you to calculate W index. Come on. W index, you know, it is the average infiltration rate over the entire storm period. That is precipitation minus runoff divided by time. Now, what is the precipitation? Precipitation is how much? 35 plus 40 plus 120 plus 85 plus 45 plus 45 mm, and 30. This will be in centimeter mm per hour. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 mm per hour. Okay, and how many minutes interval is given to you? 30 minutes. If you convert it into a 30 by 60. How much is the precipitation coming? Oh my god, you got the answer also. How much is the precipitation coming? But first tell me the precipitation. It will come out to be 200 mm. So, you got the precipitation but you need the runoff also. Since you know phi index, of course you can calculate 35 centimeter of rainfall, 35 mm of rainfall was happening and 35 mm was infiltrating. Will it contribute to runoff? No. 
40 mm of rainfall was happening and 35 mm infiltrated. So rest will be runoff. 120 minus 35 plus 85 minus 35 plus 45 minus 35 plus 45 minus 35 mm per hour. And since uh, divided it by this, 30 by 60. How much is the runoff coming, guys? Runoff, runoff. Calculate this. It will come out to be 80 mm. So, now you got everything. W index, you can calculate. Precipitation, 200. Runoff, 80. And time duration is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Half and half an hour. That is 3.5 hours. So, how much it is coming? 34.3. option. Correct. Question number 7. Which of the following points should be kept in mind while selecting the site for a rain gauge station? So, when you are selecting a site for rain gauge station, what should be the point you should take care of? Here, 3 is incorrect and 1 is correct. So, tell me the correct one. The site where a rain gauge is there should be uh, as close to a meteorological observatory, not necessary. The rain gauge should be on the top of the hill, never. Otherwise, the impact of wind is there. We try as far as, as, far as possible, it should be close to the ground. A fence is er if erected to protect the rain gauge from cattle should be located within twice the height of fence. No, you provide a 5.5 meter into 5.5 meter area. Okay, but there's nothing like twice the height. So, all these three are incorrect. Question, um, option D is correct. The rain gauge and the object, if it is there, it the distance should be 30 meter or twice the height of object, whichever is higher. Okay, so at least minimum it should be 2H, that is twice the height of object. It can be more than that, but minimum, at least that much should be there. Question number 8. This is known as rising limb. This is known as falling limb or you call it as recession limb also. Both wrong. Okay, check it out. The rising limb depends upon catchment characteristics. No, it depends upon catchment characteristics uh, and it depends upon the storm characteristics also. Duration of rainfall, intensity of rainfall, it depends upon all those things. Also, it depends upon the shape, size, slope of the catchment. Falling limb, it's generally you get it when the rainfall is over. So, it doesn't depend upon the storm characteristics. It depends only upon catchment characteristics. So, it's just the opposite they have written it. Okay, so both the statements are false. See. Question number 9. Which of the following statements is are correct? What do you mean by isochrones first? Which one you are telling? Uh, just tell the numbering also. No? What do you mean by isochrone? Basically, these are uh, points on the map which have equal time of travel to the catchment outlet. Basically, what is isochrone? The line joining points which have equal time of travel to the catchment outlet. That is known as isochrone. Okay, the, uh, the curves don't have equal water pore water pressure. They denote that the time of travel to reach to the catchment outlet should be same. First, yes, isochrone depict the pore water pressure along the depth of the soil sample if you talk it about in geotech. Isochrome is not constant. Obviously, it varies with time as I told you that every particle has different time to reach to the catchment outlet. So, definitely it varies with time. So, 2 and 3 are the correct. Not all is correct. 2 and 3 are correct. Okay. Now, there are more uh, terms of iso. Iso, don't get confused. When isobar is there, isobra are here, equal pressure is there. Isoplenth, equal depth of evapotranspiration is there. Isonif, Anybody? What is isonif? Isonif? Isonif is equal. Everything is equal. Huh? Equal snowfall line. 
so the, remember this iso 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 everywhere got it ha 2 and 3 correct chalga 2 and 3 correct and uh, when you talk about isotherm it is equal temperature line so since it can be asked to in match the following or any other manner like uh, here they have asked and take the correct statement if they want they would have said identify the type in which line joining points have an equal time of uh, having equal time of travel to the catchment outlet isobar isonef isochron or isotherm so that with the answer would have been isochron so they can ask you in n different manners question number 10 Here in this question, it is asking you to calculate runoff coefficient. Runoff coefficient is the ratio of runoff by rainfall. How much is the runoff happening in the question? It has given you one fifty million meters cube. That means ten raised to power six meter cubes. Rainfall is given in terms of depth. Convert it in terms of volume. Seven fifty meters. Area is 500 kilometers square. 500 into 10 raised to power 6 meters. How much it is coming? Nifty snowfall. Correct, Salga. How much this is coming? Quickly. Point four. See. Okay. Eleventh question. Canal is there. The length of canal is given 80 kilometer long. Width of canal is given to you. Evaporation by class A pan is given to you. It is asking you how much volume of water is evaporated. Technically, it is asking you how much volume of water is evaporated in the canal. Now, in this question, one thing which is not given, and I have told you, generally don't expect that they will give you is the pan coefficient. If you check it out for class A, pan coefficient is not given to you. So what is the pan coefficient for class A pan? It is 0.7. So first 0.7 into 0.5 centimeter. Uh, when you want lake evaporation, so basically what you do pan coefficient into pan evaporation, 0.5 centimeter per day. What is the length? 80 kilometers. Centimeter converted into meter. 10 raised to power minus 2 meter. Kilometer converted into meter. Width is how much? 15 meter. So this will give you volume, but this much evaporation is for one day. It is asking in the question for 30 days. Days and days will get cancelled. You will get the answer in meter cube. Nothing I have done. Pan evaporation into pan coefficient will give you lake evaporation. Lake evaporation multiplied by volume. How much it is coming? Check it out. I think you have made mistake. Salgar, check out the calculation once more. Eighteen thousand only it is coming. Check it out once more. I'll also check it out once. Point seven into point five. One two six triple zero. Mm hmm. Triple zero. It is there. Not B. Triple zero, it is there. Again, you guys, you see, ten raised centimeter, you will convert it into meters also, na? Ten raised to power minus two meter. You need to it centimeter per day. Check it out. See, one zero is remaining. Salgar, Sneha, Shish, everybody, guys, one zero more is to be there. Check it out the calculation once. You need to convert centimeter into meter also, na? And kilometer also into meters. Got it? See, I told you. Students never make mistake on difficult questions because difficult question ya to banega ya to nahi banega. Either you will solve it or either you won't solve it. People make mistakes on the silly questions. Now you will be the one who when who will be checking the answer key and say that my God, I made mistake in such shitty question. Come on, guys. How much? Moderate. Got it. Trace to 2.5 mm light. This is moderate. This is heavy. Okay. Now, the instrument used for measuring evaporation is. Evaporation you measure by which instrument, guys? Quickly. 
है ओ माई गॉड ऑल इज वेल ऑल इज वेल लाइसी मीटर यू यूज इट फॉर इवेपो ट्रांसपेरेशन इट इज आस्किंग यू इवेपोरेशन Lysi meter is for evapotranspiration. In the question, it is asking you for evaporation. Atmo meter, you use it. And if in the question they would have asked you only transpiration, that would have been phyto meter. Phyto meter is for transpiration. Hygro meter is for measuring humidity. Atmometer is used for measuring evaporation. Evapotranspiration lysimeter. Only transpiration phytometer. Now, hygrometer is used for measuring. Uh, correct. So, Salgar and everybody, now when you will mark it, so I'll be coming to check it out for you guys. Come on, fourteenth question. Hygrometer is used for estimating. ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी मीन्स वॉट ये सी ना बहुत नमी है मॉइस्चर मॉइस्चर लग रहा है ह्यूमिडिटी इज वॉट अमाउंट ऑफ मॉइस्चर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन एयर दैट मीन्स वॉटर वेपर कंटेंट ऑफ एयर कोई बात नहीं डू मिस्टेक हिया बट डोंट डू इट इन द एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन सिंपल क्वेश्चन But only thing is, whenever such questions will check out the duration. Like in the one question which we dealt right now, it was thirty uh, minutes. This one is fifty minutes, and it is asking you to calculate the runoff. Okay, rainfall is given to you. Phi index is given to you. Very simple. If twelve point five centimeter of rainfall will happen, seven point five centimeter will infiltrate. Rest will be runoff. Seventeen point five centimeter of rainfall will happen. Seven point five will infiltrate. Rest will be runoff. Twenty two. 0.5 centimeter rest will be run off. 7.5 everything will infiltrate. This is centimeter per hour. And what is the duration? 15 minutes. 15 minutes means 15 by 60 hours. How much it is coming, guys? 7.5. 7.5 centimeter. core water you have core watering that is core depth the core period generally when you design the channel we design it for the core watering so come on guys core watering is the sown is written sown matlab jab aap seeds ko sow karoge grown matlab jab crop thodi badi ho chuki hogi few centimeters ha uh, ha b kaise ho jayega सोन हाँ जब क्रॉप सो किया जाता है तब नहीं वो जब फर्स्ट वॉटरिंग आफ्टर द क्रॉप हैज ग्रोन फ्यू सेंटीमीटर्स हाई इफ यू चेक आउट द डेफिनेशन कोर वॉटरिंग इज द फर्स्ट वॉटरिंग विच यू प्रोवाइड आफ्टर द क्रॉप हैज ग्रोन फ्यू सेंटीमीटर्स हाई तो सी हियर ग्रोन और सोन में इनमें कंफ्यूज कर दिया आपको सो फर्स्ट वॉटरिंग आफ्टर द क्रॉप हैज ग्रोन फ्यू सेंटीमीटर्स हाई करेक्ट हाइड्रोलॉजी Come on, 17. No, I guess again you will say first watering when it is grown by few centimeters high core watering. Crop period, crop period sowing to harvesting. First watering to last watering base period. Which of the following is suitable for sprinkler irrigation? Palio. Palio, you provide when uh, basically uh, the uh, this one the soil is dry and you want to make it fit for growing of crops. So the first uh, the watering which you provide before the crop has sown, that is palio irrigation. Okay, वो तो crop को sow करने से पहले की बात है जब आप थोड़ा नमी create करते हो अगर एकदम ही dry soil है तो आप कैसे ही crop को grow करने के लिए sow करोगे? Correct. शैलो सैंडी सोइल लो मॉइस्चर हाई परमेबिलिटी लो परमेबिलिटी ग्राउंड वाटर टेबल ऊपर है किसी भी केस में आप स्प्रिंकलर इरिगेशन यूज कर सकते हो ठीक है कोई भी सॉइल में यूज कर सकते हो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ऑफ द सॉइल आफ्टर फ्री ड्रेनेज हैज रिमूव मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्रेविटी वॉटर दैट मीन्स द वॉटर कंटेंट विच हैज ग्रॉन अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ ग्रेविटी आफ्टर दैट वॉट्स एवर वॉटर इज रिमेनिंग दैट इज नोन एज वॉट 
field capacity basically it is specific retention the quantity of water which is retained so that is field capacity which of the following is known as feeding bottle technique come on guys feeding bottle technique i'll tell you here a bottle is there basically in which holes are there from which the water goes and you can fill the water from here drip irrigation good so basically here also you are water, applying water directly to the root zone of the crops come on which of the following is a plantation type of crops basically you grow it and then eventually after it you uh, consume it but not directly come on there are food crops there are cash crops and these are horticulture also which one correctly food crops is like wheat rice maize these are food crops cash crops are like tobacco kyun because what happens uh, you can sell it okay you can earn money so that is cash crops ठीक है अब ऐसा तो नहीं है कि जितना टोबैको आप अपने जगह पे लगाओगे पूरा खुद ही कंज्यूम करते बैठे रहोगे ऐसा तो होगा नहीं ठीक है तो कैश क्रॉप्स हो गया फिर हो गया जूट जिसको प्रोसेस करके आप बेच दोगे जूट तो ये सब कैश क्रॉप्स हो जाते हैं ट्वेंटी टू द मिनिमम फारो ग्रेड टू अश्योर सरफेस ड्रेनेजेस यू नो वेन यू डू फारो इरीगेशन फारो इरीगेशन जनरली यू यूज इट फॉर रो क्रॉप तो बेसिकली यू डग आर स्मॉल डिचेस ओके यू डग स्मॉल डिचेस लाइक दिस एंड हियर क्रॉप्स इज देर हियर क्रॉप्स इज देर एंड हियर यू हैव ग्रोन क्रॉप्स एंड दिस इज अ फारो ओके दिस इज अ फारो सो बेसिकली वेन यू जस्ट डिग दिस फारो यू प्रोवाइड अ स्लाइट इंक्लिनेशन सो दैट वॉटर फ्लोज अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ इट्स ओन वेट सो वॉट इज द मिनिमम स्लोप यू प्रोवाइड डेप आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्लोप मिनिमम स्लोप करेक्ट लोकेश दैट इज पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट यू प्रोवाइड मैक्सिमम कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मच यू प्रोवाइड मिनिमम इट हैज आस्ट यू इन द क्वेश्चन ऑन नेक्स्ट टाइम दे कैन आस्क यू मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम हाउ मच यू प्रोवाइड थ्री परसेंट ओके ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन कम ऑन फील्ड कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ सॉइल इज गिवन टू एस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट परमानेंट वेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज गिवन टू यू फिफ्टीन परसेंट गामा डी इज गिवन टू यू वन पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम पर सी सी गामा डब्ल्यू विल बी वन ग्राम पर सी सी डेप्थ ऑफ रूट जोन एटी सेंटीमीटर What is the storage capacity means TW? How much is DW coming? Twelve centimeter. Twelve. Okay, that is the maximum storage capacity. Temporary spurs are also called as you call it as spurs, you call it as temporary spurs. You also call it by one more name. What is that one more name? Basically, you provide it uh, near to the uh, grounds because you don't want the water to come to the banks. Okay, so for protecting that, generally in coastal areas, uh, anybody li living in in the south or in the coastal areas, Gujarat and all, you will see that villages they have this bandlings, which you provide so that the water doesn't comes uh, towards the bank; it deflects away from the banks. You call it by one more name, yeah, river training works, and that is bunds. These are temporary in nature. Okay, the one which is permanent, which you provide, that is. Weirs and barrage for diverting the flow of water. This is a temporary structure. Now, this one. What is the variation of duty of water from the head of main main canal, branch canal, major distributary, minor distributary, water course, field? So obviously, you know, as it moves from upstream to the downstream side, the duty increases. So obviously, the duty at the field will be more as compared to the 
ड्यूटी एट द मेन केनाल वाई बिकॉज बिकॉज इट विल बी एबल टू इरीगेट मोर एरिया ऑफ लैंड वेन वन मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड ऑफ वॉटर इज सप्लाइड कंटिन्यूसली थ्रू आउट द बेस पीरियड ओके नाउ हियर कैलकुलेट द वॉटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एफिशियंसी वन माइनस वाई बाई डी इंटू हंड्रेड so first small d stands for average depth of penetration 1.5 plus 1.8 plus 2.1 by 3 how much it is coming duty high on field correct how much this is coming solve this how much how much it is coming tell me this one 1.8 okay now why is 1.8 minus 1.5 plus 1.8 minus 1.8. This will become zero. So remove it. Plus 2.1 minus 1.8 divided by 2. How much it will come? This one. This one. This will be 0.3, 0.3, 0.6, 0.6 by 2. So this will be uh, 1.1.6. 1. 1. Just a minute. Let me calculate it only. 1.8 minus 1.5 plus 2.1 minus 1.8, 0.6 divided by 2. Is it coming 0.3? So this will be 1 minus 0.3 by 1.8 into 100. How much it will be? Eighty-three point three three percent. But in the question, it doesn't hasn't asked in terms of percent in terms. Of Among the classification of canals, generally you have ridge canal, contour canal, and side slope canal, in which the number of cross drainage works is maximum. Obviously, you know when the rivers and the canals meet, you need to provide a cross drainage work so that safely the river water and the canal water can pass. So, in which canal you need to have maximum cross drainage works? A A contour canal. contour canal has the maximum cross drainage works ridge canal has the on side slope canals have the minimum cross drainage work okay which of the following factor helps to maintain the fertility of the soil that means it helps to uh, retain the nutrients of the soil generally all of the above uh, if you use organic fertilizers that will also help if you don't grow the same crop every time use either you use crop rotation cover crop cultivations method definitely all will help you to maintain the fertility of the soil okay now good question the you remember that this year for noon session also they have asked questions from cross drainage work but that was a simple question this question slightly logic is there now check it out the following details pertain to the crossing of canal and drain so bed level of the canal canal bed level is given to you as 211 meter full supply depth of canal that is 1.8 meter so where will be the full supply level this will be Two one two point eight. This is for canal. Okay. Now bed level of drain. So drainage bed level is how much given to you? Two zero nine point four meter. And how much is the level of water? Two point two meter. So what will be the high flood level? Two zero nine point four meter. Two zero nine point four meter plus two point two meter. That means it will be two hundred and eleven point six somewhere here. Because the level of water here is two point two meter, so how much this will be? This will be the high flood level. How much? How much? How much? Two one one six meter. This is the drain. So you check it out. First of all, canal is above, drain is below. So either it will be an aqueduct or it will be a siphon aqueduct. So these two cancel. Next, coming further, the high flood level of the drain is above the canal bed level. That means it will behave like a pipe flow. The water in the drain will flow under the pressure, and this will become siphon aqueduct. Correct. Previous ka point eight nine nine hoga. Kahan par galti hogi?
अच्छा इसको भी ले लिया था ना डिवाइड बाय थ्री 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 था ये थ्री किया था ये बोल रहे हो क्या अच्छा 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 हाँ हाँ मैंने इसको थ्री करना बोल रही थी ये पॉइंट टू हो जाएगा करेक्ट हम्म हम्म पे लिखा था जीरो है करके बट यहाँ पे मार्क नहीं किया था करेक्ट 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 थैंक्स नाउ दिस वन सेड इट जिसने भी बोला थैंक यू ओके व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन कंजम्पटिव इरिगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट नेट इरिगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट फील्ड इरिगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट रॉस इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट कंजम्पटिव इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट इज कंजम्पटिव यूज माइनस इफेक्टिव रेनफॉल नेट इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट इज कंजम्पटिव इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट प्लस प्री सोइंग रिक्वायरमेंट प्लस लीचिंग रिक्वायरमेंट फील्ड इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट विल हैव नेट इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट प्लस द फील्ड लॉसेज आर ऑल्सो देर ग्रॉस इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट यू हैव फील्ड इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट प्लस कन्वेन्स लॉसेज आर ऑल्सो देर सो ऑब्वियसली फील्ड विल बी मोर देन ग्रॉस विल बी मोर देन फील्ड देन नेट देन कंजम्पटिव सो विच विल बी द करेंट वन डी करेंट ओके थर्टी वन With irrigation method, water is supplied to lower level by the action of gravity. That is, water will move under the action of its own weight. Come on, guys. Lift. Hydrology. Today you are making very silly mistakes, and that too in hydrology and irrigation. is supplied to lower level by the action of gravity water will move under the action of its own weight flow irrigation it is not telling that you are lifting the water or you are raising the level of water and then supplying it water is supplied to lower levels just check it out the service reservoir pani ka tanki which you have it in your locality water from that to your houses will flow under the action of gravity that is flow got it flow irrigation na sub surface kahan se aa gaya bhai सब सरफेस कब से हो गया हम तो बात ही नहीं कर रहे उसकी नाउ फर्स्ट वाटरिंग आफ्टर द क्रॉप हैज ग्रोन टू द लास्ट वाटरिंग बिफोर हार्वेस्टिंग कोई बात नहीं हाइड्रोलॉजी करो गलती जितनी करनी है यहां करो पर डाट के सुधारने का भी तो काम मेरा है ना फर्स्ट वॉटरिंग आफ्टर सोइंग टू द लास्ट वॉटरिंग बिफोर हार्वेस्टिंग दैट इज बेस पीरियड एंड फ्रॉम सोइंग टू हार्वेस्टिंग इट इज क्रॉप पीरियड ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री थर्टी थर्टी थ्री देखो मेरे दिमाग क्या चल रहा है वट इज द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ इरीगेशन What is the main advantage of irrigation? Water logging, what the disadvantage? Hai. Intensive uh, over irrigation and intensive irrigation will lead to the level of water rise in the crops. Okay, and because of that, proper will not able to breathe properly and the productivity will decrease. So water logging, so our like, harab hai. Productivity reduces. डैम्पर क्लाइमेट मॉस्किटोज एंड ऑल विल बी देर वेटी क्लाइमेट ये सब डिसएडवांटेजेस एडवांटेजेस मोर आउटपुट मोर ईल्ड विल बी गिवन ओके करेक्ट थर्टी फोर वेन डज हाइड्रोग्राफ कॉल्ड एज यूनिट हाइड्रोग्राफ ना यूनिट मीन्स वन दैट्स ट्रू सो इधर इट विल बी ए और वेदर इट विल बी सी वन सेंटीमीटर वी टेक रेनफॉल एक्सेस एज वन सेंटीमीटर ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव सो यू हैव हेड यू नो हेड रेगुलेटर्स वी हैव इट क्रॉस रेगुलेटर्स वी हैव इट इन व्यूअर्स सो द एंगल ऑफ हेड रेगुलेटर विद द एक्सेस ऑफ दियर सो यू मेन केनाल देन यू टेक आउट द पेरेंट केनाल फ्रॉम यूर सो वॉट इज द एंगल ऑफ हेड रेगुलेटर इट मेक्स विद द एक्सेस ऑफ द व्यूअर कॉमन करेक्ट नाइंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री फॉर द स्मूथ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ वॉटर थर्टी सिक्स 
what is the name of the structure placed in river to increase the depth of water come on tell me fast ha 90 to 120 degree we place it salgar increase the depth of water raise the level of water so increase the depth of water basically raise the level of water correct maraj basically these are diversion headworks what you go for raising the level of water you install these are diversion headworks so the level of water will rise and then you will uh, you will pass that water into the canals okay so for raising the water you have barrage technically diversion headworks now which crop is grown at a particular crop season technically it is both year, both uh, wear and barrage uh, but in one we provide raised gate and one crest gate so yeah technically i told you it is diversion headwork so both should be the one but out of the uh, both generally we go for barrage because control of water is more and many other factors are more but yes that's correct broader sense we have <coughs> diversion headworks now which crop is grown at a particular crop season correct it may be need be confident rohit cultural cultivated area you know we you have gross cultivated area then you have cultural commanded uh, area in cultural command area also you have like banjar zameen ya fir aapne koi zameen rakh di hoti hai for the cattle also to eat uh, the grasses and all so that portion is also there so in cc also a part of the land you cultivate and a part of the land you don't cultivate so you call it as cultivable portion of uh, cultural command area non cultivable your uncultivable portion of cultural command area so when you grow a crop basically it is the part of the cultural command area okay but actually it should be cultivable part of the cultural command area but they have written it cultural cultivated area okay matlab woh hi hai 38 what is the name for i am expecting that you guys know the basics that's why because it is a rapid fire series is going with the uh, questions but i am explaining you giving you the concepts in a very crisp manner if you want i can exaggerate also what is the name for accumulation of water in the form of artificial lake grayons grayons is used for this is a river draining work grayons you use it for deflecting the water away from the banks how come grayons barrage is used to divert the water it never uh, stores the water accumulation means stores the water spillways you basically you provide it in dams to destroy the surplus amount of energy so it is reservoir correct correct salga and everybody else basically what so water is stored on the upstream side of the dam and you accumulate the water that is known as what reservoir okay barrage you raise the level of water you don't store it grayons you deflect the water away from the bank spillway you are basically constructed to destroy the surplus energy so in none of these three accumulation of water takes place which element of hydroelectric power plant reduces the water hammer pressure sudden opening closing of walls leads to this search tank very basic but still asked in n number of exams and even asked in law now question number 40 what is the total depth of water required by a crop during the entire period in the field period means crop period base period so in, uh, from the sowing to harvesting how much is the total amount of water required so what is that depth called as delta the amount the total quantity of water required by the crop during during the entire growth, growth period crop period or base period you call it as no iso heights already you know iso heights are line joining points having equal depth of 
having equal depth of this one more thing can you tell me what uh, does a uh, uh, hygrometer i told you na hygrometer i told you uh, there is one equipment for measuring relative humidity of air can you tell me what is that humidity of air i told you there is one more uh, equipment for measuring relative humidity relative humidity hygrometer is for uh, humidity but for measuring relative humidity also there is an equipment can you tell me that instrument's name psychrometer okay so check it out in the examination side i was i was to tell you there only hygrometer is for measuring humidity but whenever in the question it is relative humidity that is psychrometer okay remember that yeah they have asked in some examination salgar that's why now as per lacy's theory as per lacy's theory As per Lacy's theory, correct. F is equal to 1.76 root over d m m, so it is directly proportional to square root of average particle size. Correct. 33. The time required by rainwater to reach the outlet of drainage basin is called. quickly all the particles come required to reach to the outlet that is time of concentration basically it is the time required by the remotest particle to reach to the catchment outlet that is time of concentration which of the following is a flexible outlet which of the following is a flexible outlet flexible 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 outlet not the rigid one flexible flexible outlet submerged pipe outlet or kennedy's gauge outlet a or b submerged pipe outlet or kennedy's uh, gauge outlet it is kennedy's gauge outlet 45th last one pick up the correct statement from the following the specified duration of unit hydrograph is called unit duration you can say that basically specified duration uh, you are talking about so you can call it as unit duration the rainfall uh, during specified duration you call it as unit storm okay the number of unit hydrographs from a given basin is theoretically infinite yes because obviously if 1 cm rainfall can happen it can happen like this also it can happen like this also it can happen like this also the only thing is that n has to be 1 cm that's it but there can be n hydrographs which can be possible okay so d got it so how many questions correct guys out of 45 how many questions correct today you guys made a lot of uh, you can say this one mistakes silly mistakes uh, guys tomorrow we are having intellectual polit uh, today what is happening my lips are stammering intellectual potential test we are having it 
tomorrow at 11 am so basically here i'll be dealing with hpcl and uh, isro okay so here it's an aptitude again 30 40 minutes class will be there uh, this is smaller 15 uh, 15 to 20 questions will be there of intellectual potential test tomorrow at 11 am 70 percent okay सब गलत तो नहीं किया हाइड्रोलॉजी कुछ तो बताया ही था आपने अब झूठ तो मत बोलो देखो ये हाइड्रोलॉजी क्या कर रहे हैं ये हमारी स्ट्रेटेजी अपना रहे सबको बता दो मुझसे कुछ नहीं बना और फिर एग्जाम में टॉप करके आ जाओ तो सबको लगेगा और यार इसके तो पूरे क्वेश्चंस गलत होते थे इसने तो गजब ही कर दिया तो ये स्ट्रैटेजी होती है मुझे मत बताओ चलो मैं नेगेटिव मार्किंग तो रखी नहीं थी मैंने मैंने तो बस ये बोला नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन कितने सही है आपने खुद से नेगेटिव मार्किंग रख ली ओके सो एच पी सी एल एंड इसरो टूमोरो इलेवन एम अब देखो पूरा टेक्निकल करा मंडे से स्टार्ट किया था फ्रॉम मंडे टिल टूडे वी हैव डन वॉट वी हैव डन टेक्निकल अब एक बनता है कि यार अब एक एप्टीट्यूड को भूलना नहीं चाहिए भाई ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है सो यू कैन नॉट फॉरगेट एप्टीट्यूड दिस प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल सो टूमोरो सैटरडे इज फॉर एप्टीट्यूड ओके सो दिस इज अ क्वालिफायर सीरीज सैटरडे एप्टीट्यूड इलेवन एम Got it. And uh, इसके साथ ही uh, मैं मेरी क्लासेस चल रही है रोज ऐप uh, पर भी एट फोर थर्टी पी एम सो आज हम लोग बात करेंगे इसमें यह आज इसमें भी हम लोग इसरो की बातें कर रहे हैं एच पी सी एल ई एस सी की बातें कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर मतलब बातें कर रहे हैं क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं वी आर डूइंग क्वेश्चन सो टूडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाईवे एंड रेलवे ओके एट फोर थर्टी पी एम द क्लास इज देर अलाइट क्वेश्चन और करा दीजिए ठीक है मैं करा दूंगी रिस्क वाला क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके okay, मैं लिख लेती हूँ एक मिनट रुको मैं भूल ना जाऊं करके लिख लेती हूँ अलाइड एरिया और रिस्क वो प्रोबेबिलिटी रिस्क वाला क्वेश्चन की बात कर रहे हो ना हाइड्रोलॉजी प्रोबेबिलिटी रिस्क वाले क्वेश्चन ठीक है इसके साथ ही अब देखो अब हमने रैपिड फायर सीरीज कर ली अब ऐसा तो नहीं है कि बस एक मार्क्स वाले क्वेश्चन करने अब ऐसा भी नहीं है कि भाई एक ही मार्क्स वाले क्वेश्चन आने वाले एमसीक्यूज के साथ एनएटी को भी ध्यान में देना पड़ेगा अब थोड़ा अब आपके मैंने बेसिक्स बता दिए अब थोड़ा लेवल ऊपर करना पड़ेगा तो अब हम लोग को एमसीक्यू एनएटी अभी अब पहले मैंने इन्वायरमेंट को दो पार्ट में बांट दिया था रॉ वाटर वेस्ट वाटर अब पूरा इन्वायरमेंट के एमसीक्यूज एनएटी करेंगे ठीक है दस क्वेश्चन करेंगे बट सॉलिड क्वेश्चन करेंगे जिसमें दिमाग लगे और मल्टीपल कंसेप्ट यूज हो ठीक है तो इसीलिए सैटरडे संडे आपके पास टाइम है टेक्निकल पढ़ के रखना 11 सितंबर से हम स्टार्ट करेंगे ठीक है ओके क्या हुआ ठीक है चलो फिर क्या ऑप्शन इनकरेक्ट की बात कर रहे हो भाई इसके साथ ही एज यू गाइज नो दैट विजन गेट 2024-25 वी हैव हैविंग पेड बैचेस यू गाइज कैन एनरोल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज नंबर इज गिवन एट द बॉटम ऑफ इट यू गाइज कैन कॉल एंड गेट अ फ्री काउंसलिंग सेशन एज वेल ओके लास्ट टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ज्वाइन कर लेना फॉर नोइंग यस ऑप्शन आर इन करेक्ट ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ओके सो दैट्स ऑल गाइज थैंक यू एवरीबडी